Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aries, this is your reading for the month of August and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading Aries, we'll see uh, what you need to know for the month of August. What are the love messages for the month of August and what are the general messages that you need to know okay so let's get started now i'm shuffling the cards i'll lay them down and then we will discuss the energies okay so let's start with the same we have eight of pentacles so eight of pentacles in a way is telling me aries that your month will be spent towards chasing your goals especially the monetary goals that you have at the back of your mind okay uh, there is something that you are trying to achieve. There is a threshold that you are trying to uh, overcome. But maybe you probably, th uh, in a, despite, putting in, despite putting in the efforts, you probably couldn't overcome that threshold in the last couple of months. But you are extremely determined in the month of August to overcome whatever that threshold is. Or overcome or achieve that goal whatever that goal is so what i see over here is there is tremendous amount of dedication there is tremendous amount of focus towards one specific thing and for majority of you i do feel like this focus is towards your career and your uh, work related aspirations okay money related aspirations as well yes i do feel like you want to generate wealth aries you want to generate wealth and there is a sense of lack of it okay i think so there is a sense of lack of it and somewhere deep down you're feeling like that's it now i cannot uh, it's high time that i create what i want to create i uh, push myself through that and i generate the wealth that i want to create right so uh, for some of you probably there are some financial struggles that are going on and that's why money is focused for you queen of swords is telling me aries that uh it is likely that you will meet someone at work or through work but you will take some time to understand the true intentions of this first person i do feel aries there was a call i had to take that Anyways, so uh, what I see over here is you're going to take some time to trust that person. Okay, so, uh, what I'm, the kind of energy I'm getting over here is you probably might feel it is too good to be true. Whatever is happening in this situation, the person that is approaching you and the kind of energy that they are bringing along with themselves, the, the way they will approach you and the way they're going to deal with you, everything you might feel like this is too good to be true. I mean... I think so. This is going to be your own perception, uh, probably because uh, you have had not so good experiences in the past. So you're still carrying forward that pattern and that experience inside you. Uh, in fact, the energy in a way is telling me that whoever is coming towards you is pretty sincere. You need to let your guard down, Aries. You need to trust whatever is happening. You have to go with the flow okay so then we have knight of pentacles yes whoever is coming towards you is a slow but a steady energy whoever is coming towards you is highly capable of giving you the stability that you are looking in a relationship okay you want stability in a situation you want stable connection and what i see over here is very likely you're going to meet someone through work through work or at work and uh this is going to be a young looking person, probably also younger than you, Aries. Okay. Maybe that is also why you might feel like you might be a bit reluctant around the situation. Maybe in the past you have experienced uh, connections where all of your partners were elder to you. Okay. Nobody probably was younger than you. And uh, you have this perception at the back of your mind like the more elder a person is the more mature and awakened they will be okay 
and you're kind of associating age with maturity wisdom and a uh, spiritual awakening that is that need not necessarily be the case all the time okay there are many people who have seen uh, too much too early they have been through too many experiences in their life quite early on uh uh many people they gain wisdom through life experiences the the earlier they gain the life experiences the the sooner they get that wisdom and the maturity within them okay so uh what i see over here the person that is coming towards you they have also been through a lot uh, in their life and quite early on this person is very mature and an awakened soul so don't go by their age even if this person is younger than you uh for for many of you i do feel like this person might be younger than you so even if this person is younger than you do not dismiss this person or do not feel uh avoidant of the situation just because of a certain criteria or just because of uh preconceived notions and, and assumptions at the back of your mind aries okay then we have eight of cups eight of cups is telling me aries that you you are you are in this no nonsense and en energy to be very honest aries for the month of august you are in this no nonsense energy where you are definitely not entertaining situations and people which are there to drain you you don't want anybody to drain you you want if at all uh, there is anyone that is coming towards you you want that person to uh, give you i mean you are here to receive and you are also here to give back but you are not here just to give okay you you want to give if you are if you are going to receive something okay you don't want to deplete uh, you don't want to deplete your energy completely you don't want to drain your energetic tanks okay so if you find any such kind of situations or people around you i do feel like you're going to walk away from such kind of people or situations right away because you have also learned how to sense which person is right for you and which person is wrong for you okay the moment you sense something is wrong about the situation or about the person you will you will very quickly exit from that situation or uh, re re leave that person then we have hanged man hanged man is telling me aries that there is someone who is stuck on you there is someone who is very much glued on to you there is someone who wants to explore a connection with you i do feel like there are multiple people who are interested in you aries okay there are many you do have lot of options there are many who are actually interested in having and pursuing a connection with you okay for some of you this can be an ex but for majority of you i do feel this is someone new and uh whoever this person is aries why do i feel like you know this person uh they, this person is admiring you from a distance okay they they are a fan of yours they are an admirer of yours uh they are this person who wants to appreciate you for who you are okay they want to love you they want to care you they want to you know whenever this person talks about you with their friends and their family uh, this person always appreciates you in everything that they say there is a lot of appreciation that comes from them and they do they do have those they they do have that admiration and appreciation for you okay this person thinks that you have come a long way and you have grown so much so for some of you this can also be a childhood friend then we have the world for some of you uh like work related travel might happen for some of you um i'm hearing some of you probably are going to switch jobs okay there is some sort of change that is happening in your life aries All right I hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in a description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you and action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person All right take care have a great time and bye bye